Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be visiting the writings of the founder of Judo, Jigoro Kano. And we're going to discuss some of the things that he wanted for the future. He was very clear and he was very precise in what he wanted. Now, it's not a fixed program, but he did express what he wanted to do. So we're going to be visiting the book Mind Over Muscle. And if you don't have that book yet, what are you doing? You really need a copy. And he talks about what things to implement into judo. And it's not, of course, just sports, but of course, self-defense. So the chapter that we're going to be visiting is the three level of judo. And it's on page 94, if you want to get to it quickly. So I've discussed self-defense and the police work in the past. Recently, I did a video on Taiho Jutsu and it's the arresting techniques of the police. However, there is just so many things that go into that discipline. And I'm not sure if it's available to the public, but it looks like the type of training that a lot of us do in terms of physical conditioning and sparring and even competing. So in many ways, there is a lot of grappling elements and judo elements in it. And it's not just about handling weapons and neutralizing threats and arresting uh, people. So physical conditioning, sparring, as you just saw, they, they wear the bogu, which is the armor for the body that's used in kendo. And speaking of kendo, the founder of judo talked a lot about kendo in that chapter. And uh, he talks about how we should take elements from it and implement it. Now, it's very important when you read something to take into consideration when this thing was written. So pause if you need. And you know that at the time prior to World War II, kendo was a different beast. So at the time it had close combat, it had uh, grappling, people would get near to each other. I've done countless videos on this and they would sweep each other, strike the legs, even go down to the ground, pin each other, even take off the men and they do many things. So he wanted to uh, create inflated weapons such as bats and clubs and little knives and use them to enhance the reaction, to have great self-defense and spar with these. Now, when you say cloth and inflated weapons, you want someone to strike as hard as they can. And luckily, we now have uh, this uh, example. So you see this in Taiho Jutsu. Look at these uh, inflated weapons in the back. So they do these types of sparring where they have many formats. So you might be holding a small knife, a small club, um, a baton, or a big, long staff or you can just be wearing your kote and striking. And the um, striking areas are similar to those of kendo and you have to hit them. So, but not only that, when you get close, you can grapple. You can also win by the throw. You can also win by the striking of the weapon or your hand. So you have different formats. You can be fighting the bat while you're holding the knife and you can make up any scenario, just like you see here. Again, inflated weapons, they go in, they can even strike and then get close, clinch and do massive throws. So that can be one of the formats of judo. So the problem with judo is that it is very vast. So you see the stuff that we do now in kata for the exams. That's not how Kano wanted the training to be if you read the page, but you can see that there is striking, there is weapons involved, there is ambushes, and all these, they can be trained in this particular format. This can also be added to your quote sports judo, which is the randori. And now you can have a far better system. This is what he wanted. He wanted inflated weapons, people striking each other with full force, and it would be an, ad an addition to judo. You can have just regular training and this type. So again, depending on your priority, if you're a cop, 
uh, of your, you're in the army, you know where your priorities lie. If you're 22, genetically gifted, you want to compete, you also have the option. Or you're 35, you have two kids, you can train twice a week, you do once of each. You know what I mean. So you can see that this program that he wanted, you have the physical uh, training that he wanted, which is the lower level of judo, the middle level, which is also um, where you involve the mind and engage it more. So you look at others, what they do, how they train, how they teach. By the way, how many times have you seen this in judo competition? Almost every competition you see it. And here there's striking training and of course close quarter where you can do these repeatedly year after year, week after week, and you can develop you know the simplest technique but master it. So this is essentially what he wanted. He wanted people to strike each other properly, protect themselves, take these elements from kendo, so the armor, the 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 areas of the body where you should strike, the intention behind the striking and so making the proper weapon for it. Many weapons, not just the shinai which is the bamboo sword and from there you can also have the randori that everyone does this is what he envisioned for the future i really hoped or i really hope that this can still materialize one day but again if you if i said this in my taiho jutsu video if you have taiho jutsu plus you know what we do in sports judo that would be very fun uh, martial art uh, to do and uh, another thing is with those what you wear and the inflated weapons you you won't get hurt that's the that's the beauty of it and you can go full force full intensity um, just make sure you fall properly and you throw your opponent responsibly as we do in judo so as Kano said to Koizumi the so-called randori aspect can be the only sports aspect and I'm very worried that it will be the end-all be-all for judo uh, I'm quoting verbatim, but this is what he essentially uh, said to him. And uh, But in reality, this is what he wanted. He wanted a mix of those two. But in the end, the goal will always be to give back to society and become a better human being and contribute positively to yourself and to others. So if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Please hit like and subscribe if you constantly watch me. That would really help me and will keep this content growing and suggest it to others. So if you have anything to add, this was Shadi. Thank you for listening.